Hello, my friends. You might have noticed that the channel name has been updated to RPN Music. The reason behind this change is that I was facing copyright issues on other platforms due to my own music. Since I started distributing it on multiple platforms, I had to establish my account as the official artist to avoid copyright strikes. I decided to temporarily change it to RPN Music as a test, but I didn't realize that I would have to wait another 14 days to switch it back. Eventually, this channel will be renamed as RPN Entertainment. Thanks for tuning in, and now let's get on with our show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to tonight's show where we'll be observing the jackass as he enters the public space. Today, a crowd has gathered to show their dislike for the jackass. Let's see how he will react. That mix of rents allows us to ensure a robust capital reserve, keeping this housing well maintained forever. We're in this for the long haul, and we do it without... The jackass will pretend that the song of F. Trudeau will not affect him, but you can see he will consume a large amount of air to release the tension. The Canadian geese will often protest the jackass. This has become a pattern everywhere the jackass goes. He often inhales air to relieve the stress. That's why they say he's full of hot air. I don't know who this female is, but she is feeling the heat for the jackass. She can't hide it on her face. <laughs> and this chap here keeps yapping on as the Canadian geese sing the song of F. Trudeau. <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't hold it in. I kind of feel bad for them. No, I don't. Oh, wow. I did not realize there is a herd of jackasses here. Good. Look at them pretending they don't hear the song of F. Trudeau. What a bunch of jackasses. I just noticed, is that the house in the back they're talking about? That will probably house about four families just by looking at it. I hope that's not the only one. These jackasses are so proud of it. I can't help but find this amusing. The way they carry on as if nothing is happening is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go back to observing my friends. <laughs> I just can't do it. Oh, where was I? Ah, uh, yeah. These jackasses are just nodding their heads to show support for each other. They can't really hear each other. They can't even hear themselves. I think the Canadian geese have brought a marching band. And here comes the jackass, about to address. Well, I'm not sure who he's addressing, because it sounds like only the Canadian geese are there. That hug had a hidden meaning behind it. The jackass is crying on the inside. He just wanted someone to hug and the jackass beside him was too tall for him to embrace. His faces would have been too close to the giraffe's mating organ. Maybe he doesn't mind it, but now is not the time. Let's see what the jackass has to say. The Canadian geese have gotten even louder, singing the song of F. Trudeau. <laughs> The jackass couldn't even hear himself. He had to check if the mic was working. Oh, come on, camera bird. Zoom back out. We need to see the whole herd of jackasses being uncomfortable. I had no idea what the jackass said, but here comes the giraffe. I doubt he has anything interesting to say. But let's see him try to pretend that he can't hear the geese from way up there. Prime Minister first, thanks for being back here in Nova Scotia. Don't thank him, giraffe. He has no idea what you just said. The giraffe has started to speed up his speech that he spent months writing, all to be foiled by the Canadian geese marching band. <laughs> uh, very few of us in elected life actually get out on our own terms, and I want to say congratulations. In the giraffe world, that, my friend, is called the laugh of pain. Oh, dear. The jackass wants to escape so bad he is starting to clap at an imaginary destination. I think he sees a mirage of Jagmeet Singh, belly dancing. This jackass also wants to run. He notices he's got a long way to go. He is crying on the inside. 
The queen jackass is used to playing this off, but this jackass over here looks like he's about to lose it. He's looking to the queen jackass, wondering when he's going to use the emergency act. But the queen jackass sees him and ignores him, remembering the trouble he got into last time for using the emergency act. Now it's time for the press birds to ask the jackass some questions. This should be good. The press bird asks him about carbon tax, and the jackass responds with the same debunked information. The federal plan puts a price on pollution that brings down emissions and it spurs innovation and the kind of investments in emissions reduction that we need, while at the same time putting more money in the pockets of Canadians. Even through the song of Trudeau, the Queen Jackass manages to spit lies out of his mouth. We know uh, that Canadians need help. Canadians need help on affordability. Canadians need help with housing. Canadians need help uh, with things like a food school program. Uh, so that's why we are stepping up. Uh, the Jackass is smart enough to know what Canadians want, but all he has to offer is saying he's been stepping up for the last nine years, but every time he takes one step up, he falls two steps backward. This press bird will ask him about immigration. understand the context around immigration. Every year, we bring in about 450, now close to 500,000 permanent residents a year. And that is uh, part of the necessary growth of Canada. It benefits our, our, uh, our citizens, our communities, it benefits our economy. That, these are the levels that we have stabilized and, and grown steadily over the past years because that's what Canada needs to continue to have a strong economy and strong communities. I can't say I'm surprised. The same old dung beetle answer. The truth is, immigration can be beneficial if done correctly. But what this Queen Jackass is doing is not to help us, or the immigrants. What he cares about is the 500,000 potential voters for the next election. He needs those votes to have a chance. He doesn't care about the immigrants, or us Canadians. His plan to import voters will cause more problems for us. With no plan to deal with the increase in population, everyone will suffer, even the immigrants after they are forced to go to work. They will be in the same boat as us. And now, he's increasing temporary immigrant students who are lining up at food banks to survive. However, over the past few years, we've seen a massive spike in temporary immigration, whether it's temporary foreign workers uh, or uh, whether it's international students in particular that have uh, grown at a rate far beyond uh, what uh, Canada has uh, been able to absorb. <sighs> Wonder who did that? Oh, the irony. But uh, as international students, we're seeing uh, increasingly vulnerable to mental health challenges, to not being able to uh, uh, to thrive and get the education they want. But also, uh, increasingly more and more businesses uh, relying on temporary foreign workers in a way that's driving down wages. And I'm not sure why he is bringing all these students in. I don't think they can vote. But you can be sure he is not doing it out of the goodness the of his heart. temporary immigration that has caused so much pressure in our communities. He said they are causing problems for our country, but failed to mention that he is responsible for the increased problems. If you are still here, consider subscribing and join the RPN Nation. Well, that was enjoyable to watch the jackasses pretend it did not bother them. We must thank them for the laughed. Leave them be with the Canadian geese, marching band. Thank you for watching, as always. Take care and farewell, my friend.